Are you worried that there might be a food shortage? Several experts are warning that a food crisis could be imminent in light of the COVID-19 pandemic and other international events that have brought attention to the vulnerability of the global food systems. The seven warning indicators of a probable food scarcity will be covered in this video, which range from price increases and decreased availability to hoarding behavior and government action. We'll go through the effects of a food scarcity as well as proactive measures that can be taken to resolve the situation and guarantee that people have access to the food they require. Join us as we explore this important subject and see how we can increase everyone's access to food. 1. Price Increases One of the most obvious indicators of a coming food scarcity is a rise in prices. When there is a shortage of food, demand frequently rises, driving up costs. Several variables like crop failures, natural disasters, or an increase in demand could be to blame for this growth. Increases in food prices can have a big effect on people and families, especially those who are already having a hard time making ends meet. They could have to decide between paying for food and other necessities like rent, utilities, or medical bills. Price hikes can also spread to other markets, including restaurants, food producers, and retailers. The higher cost of ingredients may require these companies to boost their pricing, which would fuel more price increases in the food industry. Price increases can also trigger hoarding behavior, in which people store up food out of concern that it will one day become even more expensive or scarce. This behavior may worsen the issue and make it even more challenging for other people to get the meals they require. 2. Reduced Availability Reduced availability is another indicator of a future food crisis. This may show up in a number of ways, such as bare shelves at grocery stores, a scarcity of fresh vegetables at farmers' markets, and limited quantities of some items. Many things, including crop failures, transportation problems, or an increase in demand that exceeds the supply that is available, might result in decreased availability. A brief scarcity in some locations can also be brought on by panic buying, which happens when people rush to buy food in expectation of a shortage. Those who depend on particular food kinds for their diets or for medical reasons may suffer grave effects if food availability is reduced. It may also have an effect on industries like restaurants and food manufacturing that depend on a consistent supply of ingredients. When food is less readily available, rationing may occur, whereby food is distributed in small amounts so that everyone has access to at least some food. Being forced to make difficult decisions about what to eat and when can make this process challenging and emotionally taxing for both individuals and families. Food prices can be significantly impacted by reduced supply because shortages can drive up costs even further. As a result, people who are already having trouble affording food may find it more harder to make ends meet amid a cycle of shortage and high costs. 3. Hoarding Behavior People may start stockpiling food in their homes or other locations when they believe that there will soon be a shortage of food supplies. Purchases of excessive numbers of canned products, frozen foods, or non-perishable commodities, as well as the cultivation of vegetable gardens and the keeping of poultry, are all examples of hoarding behavior. While some level of food preparation and storage is always advised, excessive hoarding can cause issues for the hoarder as well as other members of the society. Large amounts of food kept in storage can cause issues with waste, deterioration, and storage for the hoarder. Although buying and storing huge amounts of food can be costly, it can also put a strain on the wallet. When they grow more preoccupied with their own requirements and worries, hoarders may also be more inclined to feel anxiety, tension, and loneliness. Hoarding behavior might make it worse for other members of the community when there is a coming food scarcity. Stockpiling food might make it more challenging for others to get the food they require, especially if supplies are already scarce. Due to greater rivalry and a sense of scarcity, this may result in higher costs and less food supply. 4. Increased Importation Countries may import food from other regions or nations to suit their needs when the local supply of food is inadequate. A country may boost its food imports for a number of reasons. Crop failures, natural disasters, unstable economies, or an increase in demand that exceeds local supply are a few examples. Food imports can aid in reducing local food shortages, but they can also bring along new difficulties like rising costs, competition for limited resources, and potential supply chain disruptions. 
Importing more food may also have an impact on regional economies and food security. A country may become dependent on foreign suppliers as a result of importing food, which increases its vulnerability to risks including price shocks and supply chain disruptions. Increased imports may also harm regional farmers and food producers, who would find it difficult to compete with cheaper imports. Generally, a limited local food supply indicates greater food imports, which can have significant effects on both local economies and food security. Although if importing food might be a practical short-term option to manage food shortages, it is crucial to take action to boost local food production and support local food systems to reduce dependency on imports and enhance food security in the long run. 5. Decreased quality. The quality of the food that is available may decline when food sources are constrained. This can show itself in a variety of ways, such as a drop in the nutritional value, an increase in the usage of preservatives and additives, or a loss of freshness and flavor. Several things, including worse quality ingredients, a lack of variety in the food supply, or poorer processing and storage facilities, might result in a decline in food quality. In other circumstances, economic reasons such as a reduction in food budgets or an increase in food prices that push people to select poorer quality or less nutritious options can also be linked to decreased food quality. For those who depend on particular foods for dietary or medical reasons, a decline in food quality might have serious repercussions. People may not be obtaining the nutrients they need to stay healthy, which can result in health issues and a decline in general well-being. Also, Poor food quality can affect how much people enjoy their meals and may lessen their sense of security by making it harder for them to obtain food that they will really consume. 6. Food Riots Food riots are an obvious indication that a food scarcity has become so severe that residents of a town are unable to get the food they need to survive. Food riots happen when people who lack food grow so desperate that they must use force and protest to get access to food. Crop failures, economic instability, political turmoil, or a lack of government support for food security are just a few of the things that might cause food riots. They can take many different forms, including looting, vandalism, and violent protests, and they can have a big impact on community members' safety and well-being. Food riots may also have political and financial repercussions. They may interfere with regional markets and food distribution networks, causing further shortages and price increases. Additionally, they have the potential to exacerbate civil dissatisfaction and spark political revolution by fostering instability and undermining trust in governmental institutions and procedures. It is crucial to address food shortages and make sure people have access to the food they require if we are to avoid food riots. This may entail making investments in regional food production, enhancing food delivery systems, and offering public assistance with food security. In order to address the root causes of food insecurity, such as poverty, economic instability, and social inequality, it is also critical to work with people and communities. It is possible to stop food riots and increase everyone in a community's access to food by addressing these issues. 7. Government Intervention Governments may take measures to ensure that people have access to the food they need when food supplies are low, such as giving subsidies for food production, enforcing price restrictions, or enacting food rationing schemes. To alleviate current food shortages and guarantee that people have access to the food they need to survive, government involvement in the food market may be necessary. Yet, it may also have unforeseen consequences, such as market distortions, inefficiencies, and perhaps even long-term increases in food shortages. Government interference in the food market can occasionally lead to social unrest and political unrest especially if the measures taken are viewed as unjust or inadequate. Political turmoil and societal unrest that result from this have the potential to worsen food shortages and jeopardize food security. Improved food distribution networks, sustainable and resilient food production systems, and a focus on root causes of food insecurity, such as poverty and economic inequality, are all necessary to alleviate food shortages and avoid the need for government involvement. It is possible to ensure that people have access to the food they need and avoid the need for government intervention in the food market by implementing proactive measures to alleviate food shortages. We appreciate you watching our video on the 7 Probable Food Crisis Red Flags. As we've seen, a lack of food may have a big impact on people, communities, 
and even whole countries. We can contribute to making sure that people have access to the food they need and avert the need for government involvement and social unrest by identifying the warning signals and adopting proactive measures to address the problem. We hope you found this movie to be thought-provoking and educational, and that it has motivated you to take action to strengthen food security within your community and beyond. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see why.